What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. I will be changing it up a little bit here today. Shout out to RFB Blitz Kim for helping me vlog this one because I was actually helping Brian out here and there with the install of the two-piece rotors, brake pads, and lines on the ND Miata. So hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog. Let me know what you guys think and here we go. Hey Kuz, what are we doing today? So today we're going to be installing the two-piece front and rear ND rotors. Uh, they call it the sport rotors. And it's like one stage below our track day kit that we sell for Wilwood. Um, we're going to be doing front and rear along with our upgraded uh, Miata Speed stainless steel lines. So that's going to be a nice little upgrade if you don't want to do BBKs. Um, it should make a significant difference, but I figure it's time to change of brakes anyway so so right now what Brian's doing he's taking out the stock rotors um, he's taking out the brackets for the calipers and what he's going to do is just swap that out and put our two-piece rotors on and then practically put back like the caliper brackets to caliper itself with our new pads and then we're going to be putting on new lines as well too so it's just a swap of old stuff with new stuff yeah and you want to make sure you're putting on the right way because they are directional so they have an arrow obviously you know going forward will be this way so that's something you do want to pay attention to when you guys are installing this if you guys do buy this kit so these are the Frodo DS2500 pads, uh, super recommended for street and you could also track them on as well. For beefy pads, they won't squeal, surprisingly. So I have these on my FDRX7 and they feel great. As you can see, he's putting new lines and of course I had to go red because we do have an option for smoked as well but because my whole color scheme going on I had to go for red lines. <coughs> took off the caliper, he took off the caliper bracket and then now he's about to take out the rotor replace it with our new one. We specifically designed it to where when you're driving uh, forward, obviously, the holes that are on like the, I guess, the side of the rotors are not just going straight in, but they are curved. So it'll allow for like cooling and stuff like that, especially for people who track or even go like canyon driving in the back roads. So. So the reason why uh, we put the pedal depressor is so that <clears throat> when we apply the brakes, you know, not as mi not as much fluid comes out when he's changing the lines. Otherwise, if we didn't have that, it would just keep gushing out. So you get a lot of air in your lines too. And that and that as well, yeah. So that pretty much concludes um, the install because on the other side is pretty much the same thing. But uh, yeah, that concludes our two-piece rotors, front and rear, our stainless steel lines, and rotor brake pads. So with just these three things, you don't even need to go BBK or anything. And for street use, it makes one heck of a difference. So. Alright, well that concludes this vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions on the product itself of the directional two-piece rotors from Miata Speed, the brake lines, as well as the Frodo DS2500 pads. Otherwise, the car feels really good. I'm slowly breaking it in. Right now, it's like day three of driving the car and the brakes feel like almost like there is a BBK. Otherwise, guys, I'm pretty happy about it, but I will catch you guys later, and I will keep you guys updated as always. See ya.